Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we got some information about the next DLC that is coming here to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I'm gonna let you guys see the trailer and then we'll jump into this post that they made. So there it is, the High Caliber Weapon Pack coming March 12th, which is only two weeks away, and today is February 27th, 2024, but it says, Hello Hunters, our Reserve Wardens have officially confirmed an incoming premium DLC bundle containing all new weapons and cosmetics. Coming March 12th, the High Caliber Weapon Pack includes three top grade weapons crafted for pure firepower and maximum range, as well as five new cosmetics. Now you can take down the biggest game from even greater distances, giving newcomers and veterans alike an increased variety of options while hunting. The pack will be released on March 12th for $4.99. What's included? The Arzena 300 Mag Technical. The Arzena 300 Mag Technical offers stellar performance for both the hunter and marksman, meddling the flexibility of the AR platform with the long range power of the 300 Magnum. It sets new standards in hunting and precision shooting. I am so excited for this one. Having an AR 300 in the game is gonna be game changing, honestly. It's going to be absolutely insane. I use the 300 for all my grinds, like if I'm grinding for fallow deer, whatever it may be. I use the 300 just so it takes down animals faster, and that's going to make it just even better, I feel like. Up next is the 4570 Germbroke Superior. The Germbroke Superior stands as a go-to rifle for sharpshooters and hunters alike, thanks to its powerful single-shot break-action design, firing impressive 4570 caliber rounds, and catering to custom needs with its adaptable scope mount. It's more than a simple tool, it's a testament to fine craftsmanship and precision. So this one is definitely very interesting. It's going to be like the 243 handgun in that it shoots only a single shot, but it's recommended classes 4 to 9, so you're going to be able to take anything from whitetail deer all the way up to cape buffalo, which is super cool. And then it has an adaptable scope mount. I'm guessing that means we can put the Hyperion or the Argus on there. I am definitely very interested to see where this gun is going to end up in like loadouts and stuff like that. Then we have the Strandberg 10SA Executive. Whether you're stalking prey in the wetlands or participating in competitive shooting, the Strandberg 10 gauge semi automatic shotgun ensures unparalleled performance and reliability every time. So this one might be the one I am most excited about. It's between that one and the 300 AR, obviously. But this gun, I think, is going to be incredible. A 10 gauge semi automatic shotgun is going to be so much fun to use, and I can easily see it going into my main loadout replacing the Catch Droid 12 gauge. We will have to wait and see, though, as we get our hands on it. And then we have five new cosmetics. The pack also includes a sleek mix of exclusive material and camo cosmetics that can be applied to selected, or selected weaponry and gear in combination with other cosmetics in your inventory. All purchased cosmetic items are accessible from your weapon cache at any outpost. Just go use the in-game cache to apply a cosmetic across any owned weapon. Ready, aim, fire. Free pistol pack and update is on its way. Releasing alongside high caliber pe weapon pack, the free pistol pack and update brings a game-changing upgrade to revolvers with the introduction of the speed loader. We're also expanding the cosmetic customization to binoculars and rangefinders, as well as an adjust adjusting animal classes for a few species to make your experience more persistent and predictable. That is definitely very interesting. So we're getting the introduction of the speed loader, and then we're going to be able to finally customize our binoculars and rangefinders. I actually really like that. As well as adjusting animal classes for a few species. That's the one I think I'm most interested in. What are they going to be changing? What species are going to be getting a little change? With all these thrilling enhancements lined up, make sure you're subscribed and tune into our social media channels to get the latest news on what's to come. And then the rest of this article is just ways to join the community. So I will link their YouTube page in the description below so you can go check out the trailer and everything in its entirety. 
But let me know down in the comments, which guns are you most excited for? Like I said, for me, it's between the Strandberg 10-gauge semi-automatic shotgun and the Arzina 300 mag technical. I think having a 300 AR and then a semi-automatic 10-gauge shotgun in the game is going to be game-changing. Are you excited about the cosmetics? And then also the introduction of the speed loader, the customization of binoculars and rangefinders. And also let me know, which animals do you think are going to be getting a class adjustment? I'm very curious about that. But that's going to do it here for this video, so I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.